Spartans, our bodies need energy, and we get that from the food we eat. No surprise, right? But what is the gatekeeper between food consumption and the energy needed for athletic performance? It's your gut, especially the gut flora. I'm Dr. Nada. I created the Integrative Health Program at Mass General Hospital, and I'm the founder of Sage Tonic. Welcome to this episode of Spartan Health. There are millions and millions of bacteria in your gut. In fact, there are 10 times more bacteria than cells. 10 times. So what are these flora doing in addition to processing foods? Well, one, they can identify pathogens, and those are things that can make you sick. So they help to keep you well. They can bolster and improve the health of your intestines. And three, they promote the growth of new cells. So what happens to athletes when the gut isn't working well? It gets in the way of performance, for one. Also, it affects recovery and long-term health and the sustainability of athletic performance at a high level. To be more specific, there's a cascading effect that starts very small but ends up degrading your abilities to do what you want to do in the gym, at a race, or at any competitive setting. And here's how it starts. With too few interferons in your gut. Interferons are a type of immune cell in your body, and they're released from cells in your gut and are important in helping to fight viruses. A healthy gut microbiome supports interferons. An unhealthy gut means fewer interferons, and that can hurt your immune system. With that, the possibility of catching cold and suffering from other viruses goes up as well. If your immune system is stressed, your body's ability to repair the kind of inflammation that often comes with strenuous exercise is impaired. This can lead to the increased possibility of increasing the injuries that you sustain during training. Your digestion is compromised, and that reduces the efficiency of processing nutrients for energy. If this continues, you'll probably not be able to improve or sustain the kind of athletic performance we Spartans are striving for. Luckily, it's relatively easy to keep your gut healthy. First, eat healthy. We all know this, right? But don't cut corners. If you're exercising at a high level, avoiding processed foods, controlling the amount of sugar that you eat, we know that a lot of sugar can cause inflammation and affect the gut, and also, as always, stay hydrated. The difference between good performance and great performance can sometimes be very small. So you need to be disciplined if you've set ambitious goals for yourself. Another thing, Give your gut what it wants, and in that regard, probiotics can be really helpful. Now, you can take them as supplements, but again, I love to go to the food source, and there's several different things you can do. There's a lot of fermented foods out there that have a lot of probiotics in them. One is sauerkraut, and another one is yogurt. So there's several different things that you can try and see what works best for you. As we're exercising, our gut normally performs silently and behind the scenes, and that's how you want it. It usually draws our attention after something else goes wrong. So support your gut with good eating habits, and you'll keep your performance at a high level. Thanks for listening to Spartan Health. I'm Dr. Nada, and I'm here every Sunday as part of the Spartan Up podcast family. Spartan Up has new episodes almost every day of the week. We give you tips, information, and tools to help you stay on track. And we have interviews with inspiring high achievers every Tuesday with Joe and his team. So at Spartan, we're here for you. We're your partner in resilience training for your mind, body, and spirit. Thanks for listening.